Well, hello. I'm Tyra Banks, and this is What Would Tyra Do? <laughs> this is from To All the Boys I've Loved Before, where Peter is asking for a fake relationship with Laura G. What? Yeah, what, what if you know, we let people think that we were actually together? You know what I would say? Sure, Peter, as long as you fake take me out to dinner to Red Lobster for some all-you-can-eat shrimp every day for a month, and then you give me fake kisses because you're fine as hell every day for a month, and then we have a deal. This is a scene from The Famous Bridesmaids where Kristen Wiig's character is all like, oh my God, I'm on a plane and I'm so scared. So she takes a Xanax and she has a shot of something and then she comes from coach to first class to talk to her homies. Okay, just stop it right there. She touched a black girl's hair. That's just a no-no. Do you understand? You don't touch a black woman's hair for many reasons. First of all, we are not a science project. Second of all, we are not a petting zoo. Third of all, some of us have tracks and wigs and wiggle weaves. Do you know what that is? That's like a wig and a weave. So you just don't do that. I don't care how drunk you are. I don't care how scared you are. And I don't care about the rest of this scene. We can move on. So this is Lindsay Lohan, my girl. What's up, Lindsay? Ah! And she's in Mean Girls. And she came to the Halloween party looking like a real Halloween party. All the other girls came looking like a... H to the O, hello. What would I do? I would walk up to these little girls and say, I have two photos in my hands. And a name that I do not call must immediately return to your Halloween haunt house. Pack your bags and go home. I would pull the photo out and it would be neither of these bitches, okay? They would both have to pack because these bitches invited me and told me to wear a costume, but did not give the small print. So both the bitches gotta go. This is an episode of Friends, and Ross is about to marry Emily. However, we all know that he's in love with Rachel, and he makes this mistake. Take thee, Emily. Take thee, Rachel. Oh my God. First of all, if I was Emily, I would get butt naked immediately. And I would then pull Rachel up and make her get butt naked. And then I put my wedding dress and my little cheap ass tiara on her and say, you know what? You can have them. Priest, proceed. Right? Is that what you would do? This is an episode of America's Next Top Model where my model, Alexandra, falls down the stairs. <laughs> What would I do if I were her? Well, I would make it like it was on purpose. So I'd fall down those stairs, and then get up, and then walk three paces, and then fall down in front of an editor. Like, get up. That was a hot mess. Then I'd take a couple of paces and fall again. Get up fiercely. Do you understand? Things happen in threes, darling, and so I'd just make it like it was on purpose. And then I'd get to the end of the runway and just like, fall off the end and then pop up. This is the famous scene in Life Size where Lindsay Lohan's character first wakes up to the evil. So what would I do if I was Lindsay Lohan and this strange woman woke up in the bed with me? I'd say, this is so amazing that we need to make a sequel. This is the famous yodeling boy in Walmart. If I was there, I would take him on my back. I'd say, hop on Tai Tai's back. We are going to runway walk and yoda lay hee hoo all the way through these aisles, through the light bulbs, through the ham hocks, through the Twinkies. Yoda lay hee hoo. We are so fierce. Yes, hoo. Child, he would be America's next top yodeling baby, whatever. I, I don't, I don't really have anything for that, sorry. <laughs> so 
So here's the scene in Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis's Freaky Friday, where Jamie Lee Curtis wakes up and her daughter, Lindsay Lohan's little 10-year-old, 12-year-old brain is up in her head. Oh, I'm like the Crypt Keeper! Okay, that's enough. Ah! I'd be like, teach me how to use Snapchat. Teach me how to use Snapchat, because I don't know what the hell is going on. Well, that concludes What Would Tyra Banks Do? Now send this to a friend and ask them, what would you do, boo?